long enough, son. Gotta keep moving. We have gonna start running, Daddy. Not too afraid, Jimmy. Not too afraid. Hold it! <laughs> Didn't get away from old Crane, did ya? Just put your hands up there. Put your... I can hardly wait to catch up with that hothead you talked me into hiring. Oh, Crane's a good man. Why, he wants to prove it by capturing and runaways himself. Well, he's got a lot to learn before he tangles with a black man as rough and smart as George Hill. Oh, well, maybe he wants to surprise you, huh? As in his uh, boy, you're chained down just waiting for you. to 12 back home. That comes to 23. Pieces caught by Israel Boone Esquire. How much you think that ought to bring me, Pa? Oh, that depends on the size and the condition. Say medium size, more or less, in perfect condition. You sure now? Positive, Ben. Beauties, huh? Yeah, those are nice. I'd say they're worth, oh, 40, maybe $50. $50? Yeah, you're on your way to becoming a rich man, Israel. At last, I can buy all the things I've wanted for years and years. Say, a watch that really works. A new mirror for Ma. And maybe four or five pounds of lemon drops. Well, in the meantime, we still got to eat. How about helping me catch uh, four or five pounds of fish? Not today, Ben. I want to help Pa check his traps. Well, that country's too rough, Israel. You stay here and go fishing with Ben. Aw, oh, Pa, can I go along and help? Well, maybe next season, when I've had a chance to blaze a proper trail. How long do you figure you'll be gone, Daniel? If the catch is good enough, it'll keep me busy for quite a spell. Don't figure I'll be back much before maybe late tomorrow afternoon. We'll have the fish waiting for you. It's long, son. Bye, Pa. Are we going fishing or not? Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Yep, 
Big George and the kid chained down waiting for me, huh? Well, I had the boy. You haven't got him now. His pa took me from behind. If you shot him, that's going to cost you three years' pay. No, no, the gun went off in the fight. Nobody was hit. And nobody that worked for me makes his own decisions, understand? Yes, sir, Mr. Carson. Come on. Well, how does he know where they went? Yeah, the man's brought back too many runaways he has. You just follow along, no questions asked. Get him. It's a boy. What are you doing, boy? What are you doing in here? What are you doing here? Are you all right? Hey, sit down right here. It's all right. It's all right. Don't worry. Everything's all right now. We won't hurt you. Let's get him up by the fire. Yeah, come on. Come on. I got him. There's only two ways to go from here. Downstream is the current if you hit the white water. Across here where the stream narrows. Or they might even backtrack to throw us off. What's your hunch, Reef? Well, I'd say with that brat running on one shoe, the water. But we'll comb the other side for a couple of hours just to make sure. Come on. All of a sudden, the current swept us round a bit into real deep water. And there was a noise, a lot of noise. And you found yourselves headed for Gooseneck Falls. Couldn't stop. Had to go over. That's when he broke his leg. I wanted to stay and help him, but he wouldn't let me. Where's your paw now, Jimmy? Lying back there in the cove. Son, one more thing. What's your paw's name? His name is George, but they call him Big George. He don't have a chance. No chance at all. Those men will take him back. And if they don't, he'll just lay there till he dies. I'm never going to see him again. With luck, I'll get to Jimmy's father first. See what I can do for him. I got some dry clothes for him. That's good. Stay put right in here. Jimmy? Jimmy? I have some dry clothes for you. You, you know you can't sit around in a blanket all your life. Here. Pa made these special. They're new. Sure, I've been saving them. I never had anything new in my whole life. But you do now. Well, golly, just don't sit there. Put them on. Straight, you're headed right. Hey, 
Put on that club. I'm here to help you. What about my boy? Well, he's all right. I found him in the river and I fished him out. He'll be all right. Now, do you believe me? I reckon that's got to be the truth. Well, then, put on that club. You're making me nervous. Where's Jimmy now? He's at my camp downstream. All by himself? Little boy like that? It's all right. He's with a friend. Another little boy his age. They'll make out all right. Better take a look at this leg. It's broken, all right. But I've seen worse breaks. I need some splints. Some back there somewhere. That's them. Got to fix this leg. Got to get back to camp. But I'll be back sometime late tomorrow, right? Providing my new owners don't get here before you do. They don't figure to be hiding out around here, otherwise they'd be looking up these hills for you. Mister, your camp is downstream. Yeah, that's right. That's the way they're headed. Leave the leg to me. I can take care of that. All I want you to do is see to it that my boy is safe, no matter what. Don't let them get their hands on Jimmy. The boy's got to go free. All right, I'll do the best I can. Here's some food. Good luck. Good luck to you. I forgot my matters not saying thank you, Mr. Israel. That's all right. Neither of us are going to be mister for quite a spell yet. You know, if you were about six inches taller, we could be twins. Israel! Almost. Israel! Three men headed this way. Could it be the same one chasing Jimmy and his father? I can't tell for sure, but we ain't taking any chances. Jimmy, I fixed your paw. Now I'm going to find a place to get you out of sight. Where? I'll hide in the brush. That's not good enough. Come on! Get in there, Jimmy. Get his clothes over here. Jimmy, you keep real quiet now and don't make a sound. You think there's gonna be shooting, Ben? Can't tell for sure. If those are the three men that are chasing Jimmy and his paw, they won't come barging in here friendly like. But no matter what, we won't let him take Jimmy, will we? You bet we won't. I sure wish my paw was here. Me too. Now listen. Don't panic, just act natural and don't say nothing unless you have to. Come on, boy, get that fire stirred up. Get them fish going. All right. Now just sit tight. You don't give me any trouble, and I won't give you any. Take a look around. Been looking for a boy about your size. A black boy running away with his daddy. The man I master bring top money on any block. Big, rangy, powerful. Name's Big George. There ain't none like him for a thousand miles around. I own him. I want him. And he ain't nobody gonna keep me from getting him back. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, you sure do, mister. Yes, sir. Like those furs? <sighs> yeah. Worth four or five dollars a piece, maybe. You like those? Just wait to see these. Come here. Thought there was only two of you here. Yeah, that's right. Now, it just couldn't be there's somebody else waiting around here just to fill their bellies, could they? Like maybe one of them blacks. Rafe? Yeah? They'd tell about some of those white folks going out of their way to help them slaves escape. How about it, mister? Well, the, 
The boy's waiting for his pa to join up with us. You know how boys are. He just wants to be ready, just in case. Come over here, boy. That a fact, boy? Sir? We're talking about that third bowl. Third bowl? Yeah. Who's gonna eat out of it, boy? It's, uh, for my pa. When he gets back. What do you think, Rafe? We're moving out. Let's go. Them a while, see if they're really gone. You and Jimmy stay hidden. It's all right, you can come out now. Where's Mr. Ben? Oh, he's keeping an eye on him for a spell. You heard what they said about my father. They're not going to stop looking. Don't worry, they're not going to find him. They're way past where Ben hit him right now. Then why does he have to keep an eye on him? Well, it's like my pa says. There's some animals you just can't turn your back on. And you know what I say? I say if we don't clean those fish, we're not going to get to eat them. How about it? Will you lend me a hand? I'm glad you're my friend, Israel. Come on, let's go get those fish. <laughs> them two back at camp. Lucky you found it before that black devil and his brat did. Yeah. Well, I don't fix it so they can't use it. Well, I'll tell you one thing for sure. Them blacks didn't get this far. That canoe wouldn't be here. We're going to go back. Fine tooth comb the area, beginning with that camp. Well, we already done that. Well, we're going to do it again. I got a feeling in my bones that Trapper and that kid were lying to me. And I'm going to go back and prove it. Come on. You like corn pone, Jimmy? Ben will make it something to go with this fish as soon as he gets back. Till she got sick, my ma used to make real good corn pone. You, uh, never did tell me where you're headed. Canada. But with my daddy hurt, I don't know. Would you please stop fretting now? When my pa gets back, he'll know what to do to make things right. And that's a fact. Boys, they're coming back. Quick, Jimmy, hide! You won't do no good this time. They're gonna turn this camp upside down. Jimmy, where are you going? Start running again. I've been trouble enough. You can't do that again, son. You're in the wilderness. You can't run off by yourself. Can't let them catch me, neither. Think we can make it to the canoe? They busted it wide open. Israel, I'll tell you what you do. You gotta lead Jimmy down that back trail. Find yourselves a good hiding place. I'll stay behind here. Try to lead them on a wild goose chase. Give you boys a chance for a good head start. Remember, Israel. No matter what happens, don't turn back. If anything goes wrong, they catch up with you. Don't let them scare you. Just don't say nothing. Especially about your pa, Jimmy. Now, you know how to use this if you have to? Yes. Okay. Now get. Let's go, Jimmy.
fish out, Mr. Bear? Oh, no, but he told us to keep on going. That's just what we're going to have to do. Come on! Yeah, I think I got him. Are you sure you hit him? I think I hit him. Well... Well, are we going to run him down? No, we wasted enough time on him. Them blacks are around here. He's led us too far away from them already. Come on. Looks like that white kid took off with him. Well, one thing's for sure. Nobody's going anywhere in that canoe. Hey, looks like fresh tracks in the brush. Kids might have gone this way while that trapper's leading us the other way. You don't think Big George risks separating from his kid? Well, maybe I had no choice. Could be a trick, too, you know. Split up to throw us off, maybe, huh? Yeah, a trick that didn't work. Instead of going on another wild goose chase, we'll track them kids down, get his boy, and one way or the other, we'll get him. some way to cover up our tracks in case someone's following us. Do what I do. Now stay on the stones. My pa says the best way to cover up a trail is not to have one. How do you do that? I go right across there on those logs, as far as you can without touching the ground. about here. 
No other prints around. That trapper's kid knows all the tricks. We better get on out the stream and check it out. I don't think they go up in there. Let's go. There might be some blueberries in here. Let's go see. Push our way through. Okay. Here it comes. Come on. Watch out! Israel, look out! Israel, Israel, are you all right? I need some, but I can't move with this tree laid on my leg. I'll give you some help. Now, and I lift. You pull your leg loose. It's no use. You're just gonna have to go on by yourself. I can't leave you here. It's all right. Those men are chasing you, not me. That don't make no difference. I won't leave you here alone. Don't you worry now. I'll get you loose from there. I see my paw proud stumps and rocks like this when he was clearing ground for planting. You get ready now. I'm ready. And here it goes. Walk fine. Save my life, Jimmy. That's what you've been doing for me all day. I guess we'll forget about those berries. We waste enough time already. Well, we know they reached this creek. That one kid must be part ending the way he keeps covering their tracks. Giving us a lot of trouble, all right, but sooner or later one of them's bound to slip up. Let's go. Pa's last blaze, Mark. We don't dare go any further. Man, we won't be able to if we don't get something to eat soon. I'll dig you up something. I just gotta figure out where to go from here. Oh, looks like they had a little trouble here. Not too long ago, either. Let's get to him before that animal beats us to it. Yeah. For sure we catch him before the day was out. They got a long, mean night ahead of them. Well, without food or fire, they won't be running so fast tomorrow. <sighs> sure is lonesome and scary out here. Safest place we could find, away from water holes and caves, where wild animals usually are. And a good tree to climb in case we need it. Well, I'm sure to teach you a lot. Maybe there's some nuts. Remember we saw the squirrels when we came in? Yeah. Let's go see.
have to wait till morning after all. It's hard to believe those two little critters will be carrying a gun. It's no hard to believe then let's not catch them right off. Shot came just north of here over the rise. Well, let's go pin them down. Shot might have given us away. Maybe they didn't hear it. Can't even take any chances. We gotta go and we gotta go far. Hurry! all day to find them. Gonna take all night to make them talk. Let me have a crack at him. You'll get your chance. Come here, boy. I said, come here, boy. Walk over him, not around him. You heard what he said. Animals, boy, just animals. Think different, act different. Because they are different from us. Did anybody ever tell you that? You know, if you ask me, it's a shame, crying shame at a smart boy like you helping out runaway slaves. <laughs> you could do more for your country, try and catching them. Yeah, get rich here, too. Truth of the matter is, boy, I don't hold and hit a white in front of a black. I'm just asking you as one white to another. Don't make me do it. Now, the sooner you tell us what we want to know, the easier we're going to be on you. And while you're thinking about that, boy, have yourself something to eat. Go ahead. I reckon he's hungry, too. Boy, how would you like to have some of his nice eatings? Huh? There you go. <laughs> well, he's trying to make up his mind which race he belongs to. How about me taking over with that kid? All right, go ahead. So what are you going to do? Well, a little hiding will loosen up his tongue, maybe. Well, if he fades from pain without talking... And always see how much that one can stand. Wait! I know where his father is. No, don't tell! Don't tell! Hey, oh, come here, you. All right, all right. Tell us where we're going to find him. Truth right off. No stalling here. Well, I don't know the name of the place, but I can take you there. He lied to us before. But I know better now. That's a fact, sir. All right, we'll leave at daybreak. Go ahead and eat, boy. Doesn't he get any? You still fretting about him? No, sir, but 
We have an awful lot of walking to do tomorrow. He's kind of weak in the knees. Well, I reckon we can use him for bait. Chances are at Black's hiding out somewhere he sees it, boy. All right, feed him your leavings. Go on. Hey. Think you better tie him up for the night, too. No, that boy's too smart to travel in the wilderness at night. Much too smart. Jimmy, would you please listen to me? No. You don't understand, Jimmy. Enough to know that you want to save your own skin, white boy. You know I wouldn't tell your pa's hiding. Not in a million years. It's just I didn't want him to hurt you. Won't you believe me? Don't know what to believe. Don't know who to trust. You can trust me, Jimmy. I promise you that, for sure. I heard him say we were leaving at daybreak. Where are you going to take him? My pa's last trail blaze. He'll be passing right by there on his way back from Bear Claw Pass. Sure enough? If we pray hard enough, we'll get there at the same time. <laughs> say how far we had to go. Maybe five, six hours. Rafe? Yeah? Come over here. I don't know, but I'm telling you, I think that kid's a fox. Is it really going to take that long? I hope so. Pa ain't going to get there until this afternoon. Well, we're in it now. Let's see it through. Let's go. Come on. I wish I could have done more for him, Boone, but keeping those traitors from getting their hands on those two boys was the only thing on my mind. I just had to bank on Israel being able to give him the slip and stay out of sight till you got back. You did the right thing, Ben, and I know Israel will do the best he can. I kept hoping I'd come across him on my way out here, but uh, the shape I'm in, I wouldn't have been any help to anybody. Don't go belittling yourself. It's a miracle you got this far. Where are you going to look for him? Well, I told Israel I wouldn't be back in camp till late afternoon. He just might be figuring on laying low by the trail and meet me on the way back from Bear Claw. I've got time enough, but I'm going to have to leave you here. Well, nothing more you can do for me. I'm, I'm fine. Well, you just rest easy. I'll be back. All right, you boys on your feet. Get up. Get a move on. Come on. Thought you said five, six hours, boy. That's right, sir. Well, now you get us where we're going. Get us there fast here. Come on, get a move on.
What are you stopping for? This is where he's going to meet us. Well, in that case, I don't want to disappoint him. You two boys sit on that rock. Don't try to run. I don't want to have to shoot you. Judd, you hide out in that brush over there. Crane, get back in there. I want him alive, understand? start running, all right? Which direction do I run in? Right behind us. That's where Judd is hiding. Not anymore, he ain't. My pa's over there. No, don't look. Now he's heading over towards Rafe. It's just about time. But what's Brennan gonna do for us? Outside of getting us shot? It'll make Rafe and Crane come out, and my pa'll take care of them. Ready? Run! Watch him, Judge. You're getting away. Take care of Ben. He's been shot. Is he hurt bad? Not too badly. Oh, this is my friend Jimmy. Jimmy? Howdy, Mr. Boone. Don't you boys hide in the bushes and wait for me. I got some business to attend to. Oh, uh, if you mean Crane, he's out cold. Jimmy busted him with a branch. Well, let's get the rest of them tied up and we'll go after Ben and Jimmy's father. <laughs> Mr. Boone, I don't know how Jimmy and I could ever thank you for what you did. I don't need any thanks. Are you sure are the best woman I ever seen? And you're willing to give up your forage for us? <laughs> well, I just want you to know, regardless of what happens. You're crazy, Boone. Them two slaves are worth six, seven hundred dollars, Boone, and I ain't about to sell it for fifty. Stubborn Cassini. He's gradually coming around our way of thinking. What do you do with the rest of them, anyway? I'll oh, turn them over to the law. He did shoot you. I gotta go to town anyway to get a wagon to get you and George back. Hey, uh, you think you're drowning him? Well, I'm real tempted. Now I'll repeat my son's very generous offer. His fur's worth about $50 in return for the papers on Jimmy and his paw. You're crazy, Boone! How long do you figure you'd be gone? Oh, three or four days at the most. You got provisions for that long. Oh, yeah, don't worry about us. We'll be all right. Hey, you didn't give him a chance to breathe that time. All right, Boone, all right. I'll sell, I'll sell. Just get me out of here. Well, Israel, I think we persuaded him. You think Ma'll understand about having to wait for a mirror? Well, I think maybe she'll understand more than that. You know, I've been watching you these last few days, and I figure it might be safe for me to give you a little money for next season's furs. Enough maybe for, oh, small mirror and six or eight pounds of lemon drops. Now, if you boys would just pick up those boots and throw them over there in the fire, I'd feel a lot better if those fellows were barefoot on the way to town. Otherwise, they're liable to make a break for it, and I'd have to shoot them. 